Welcome back. In the last video, we made some modifications to our form to make it so job posters can edit their forms on the front end. Those changes were namely collecting a first name and an email address and setting up a new form action to register a user when they post a job. In this video, we're going to create the interface necessary for the users to edit their jobs. So the first thing we'll do is make a modification to the settings of our job posting form. If we scroll to permissions, we'll see a few check boxes that we can uh, make changes to. The one we're most interested in is allow front end editing of entries. So we're going to check that and then we're going to fill out the options that appear underneath. So role required to edit one's own entries. Uh, we're just going to make that the logged in user. So only the logged in user will be able to edit their own entries. Role required to use to edit other users entries. Uh, so we can make that an administrator so that any administrator can edit users entries. But this is on the front end. Uh, if an administrator wants to make a change to an entry, they can do it on the back end as well. So we're just going to leave that blank. And then on update, show a message. So that's the change that we need to make to the form in the settings area. We'll click update. And then what we're going to do is create a view. Views in formidable forms allow us to do all sorts of things, including create custom pages with form data uh, and other interactions that would otherwise require a theme developer. So we're going to create a new view and this view is simply just going to be for users to modify their own job entries. So we'll call this user job edit. This is a totally private title. You can call it whatever you want. It's not going to show up uh, until we explicitly list it on a page. So we're going to grab entries from the form job posting. We're going to use the view format all entries. So we want all of the entries to show up here. And then we have a content area where we can basically do whatever we want here. So we can give a message to the users, use this page to modify your job postings. And then we have a bunch of information on the right hand side that will allow us to add dynamic information. So because this is going to be a page meant only for the user listing the jobs, we're going to list the job title, so it'll show up as an ID, and then we're going to list the edit entry link. So when we click edit entry link, you'll notice a couple of things. We have the edit link shortcode, location is front, we want this to be on the front end, the label is edit, and then there's a page ID equals X. So we actually need to grab the page ID where our form is located. So we can do that by going to the pages area, hovering over the post a job edit link, and in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see the post ID is 32. If you don't see the URL here, you can click the edit link, and view this same exact URL in the top bar of your browser. So coming back to our view, we're going to change X to 32. And there's one more thing we're gonna do here, and that is scroll to the bottom and click filter entries. So when we turn on front end editing, a new field is automatically added to our form called user ID and we want user ID to be equal to and current user automatically gets populated, which means that only show the form entries that belong to the currently logged in user. We'll scroll up and click publish. And now we have our user job edit view. If we go to pages, we're going to create a new page called edit job postings. And here is where we're going to import our view. So if we click on the formidable forms button, we can go to view, it's the second entry here, and we'll click user job edit. 
We don't need to make any other modifications to this. Everything else we want is going to be in the view. So we'll click insert into post and publish. Now, when we view the page, you'll see that, well, things don't actually look very good, right? So we have our use this page to modify your job postings and we do have the titles. Uh, and then we have this repeated again, right? So we need to make a modification to our view to make it uh, a little bit clearer what's happening here. So we'll go back to forms, views, and we'll click user job edit. So the first mistake that we made was we put use this page to modify your job postings in the content. And since we're viewing all entries, this is going to get repeated for every post. So we'll actually put this message in the before the content area, and now it'll show up before our content. And the other thing we did was we didn't add any markup, right? So uh, Formidable Forms takes this uh, content literally. So uh, we have no HTML here. So what we'll do is we'll just make this a bulleted list. And then we'll click Update. And now if we go back to our edit job postings, now we have our text and we have the two job postings that belong to the currently logged in user. If we log out and log in as a different user and make our way to the edit job postings page, we'll see only the one job that they've listed. If we click edit, we are brought to the form with the information pre-populated and we can now make changes to this job. So this is a job for Apple. Apple's not in New York, they're in Cupertino. So we'll click update. We'll go over to the jobs listing page where yes, the location has been modified. So that's it for this video. In it, we learned how to create a view specifically so that logged in users can modify the jobs that they've posted. In the next video, we're going to create another view that allows users to view a job listing and then go to a separate page for each individual job listing, which gives us a little bit more control than the table that we used in a previous lesson.